Another object to consider when starting astronomy is a good set of binoculars. Often the best first telescope is a set of binoculars, and for the reasons that two eyes is better than one, obviously. Uh, you get a wide field of view, you get a corrected field of view when you look up, and this will help you to start learning constellations and where the inter interesting objects are inside of that constellation. Uh, so you need to have a point of reference when you're looking for, for objects in the sky, and this is called star hopping. So as you can identify a certain constellation, it tells you there's a very nice deep sky or a globular cluster of visible binoculars uh, in that area of the sky. That is how you would start to learn how to identify that object. And if you can start doing that with binoculars, you'd be ahead of the game when you got your first telescope. Uh, for a handheld set of binoculars, you want to get a low power binocular and as you see on the uh, front of the binoculars here all the powers are listed right there it is 7 by 50 now the first number the 7 is your eye strength how much magnification it's going to give you and for astronomy again light gathering is important so a nice 50 millimeter lens is good for astronomy and 7 doesn't get too shaky in your hand so for a handheld binocular 7 by 50 is ideal for astronomy uh, a little bit higher up 8.5 by 56 a little bit heavy to hold remember you can be holding them like that as well uh, another option, a little bit higher end, a little bit more premium, is a pair of image stabilizer binoculars that allow you to hold high power without the little bit jitters that you get right here. So remember, low power, because as it gets to shaking, that gets a little bit fatiguing and can make it uncomfortable to view. For a little bit higher power binoculars, we'd want a tripod such as we have over here. Now, there are certainly much bigger, more powerful binoculars available. <clears throat> A big guy like this, two 100 millimeter lenses and 25 magnification eyepieces back at the end here, is just beautiful for astronomy and hold up really well. And as you can see, such a beast absolutely has to have a good fork support and a tripod. Here's a little guy a little bit more compact and ideal for traveling with. This is a 22 magnification binocular, impossible to hold steady. So as you're considering a higher end binocular or higher power binocular, I should say, you're going to make sure you're going to have to have a mount and a tripod to hold it steady. So those are important features to consider when you're choosing binoculars for astronomy. Binoculars are a key ingredient for learning and understanding the night sky so you know where to point your scope, so you have a point of reference. Even with a go-to telescope, you have to tell it where to go to. So it's ideal and it's a step a lot of people don't want to take for starting astronomy. If you've got a pair of 7 power or 10 power binoculars in the garage or kicking around, get out and start with those first. It's a, it's a great way to learn. And uh, I like the 7x50s myself. You don't typically have to have such a big binocular to get started. It's important to know seven magnification binoculars. That's enough to see the Andromeda Galaxy, which is 2.2 million light years away. It's enough to see the Orion Nebula, and you can see literally hundreds of deep sky objects with this. So a pair of binoculars, a great way to start learning the night sky.